No wonder Fed Chief Jay Powell went so hard about inflation on Wednesday. Today, we got still one more smoking hot unemployment number. A true barn burner of hiring. And that's the last thing that the Fed wants to see here. While the market still managed to rally, Dow gaining 402 points, S&P jumping 1.36%, NASDAQ climbing 1.28%. People are kidding themselves if they think this. <laughs> If they suddenly think a strong labor report is actually good for the stock market, anyone who paid up for stocks on days like today really has no sense of history. When you bet on a scorching hot economy, you're fighting the Fed. You're not being in bed with the Fed. But that's a very bad idea. See, the Fed always wins. That's why I want to kick off my game plan for next week with what's in front of us from the Fed first. And what really matters in the absence of specific earnings because I know that we are on some sort of crazy roller coaster. I want you to know not when to get off. That's not the plan. But when you can expect to be nauseous. When you need the Pepto. People at the office know I love the Pepto. I swig it. Probably not what you should do. But it works. Take Monday. Loretta Mester. Okay, she's right up here. Uh, she's the hawkish president of the Cleveland Fed. She's going to give a lecture. And no doubt she'll take the questions, right? You know, the Q&A. Excuse me, can I ask you something? I expect her to go ballistic and talk about the need to raise rates until the cows come home. And the cows really never come home. Believe me, I know that. I own a bunch of cows. They're so stupid, they don't even know where home is. Don't take offense. I mean, they don't watch the show. Thursday morning, we get the Consumer Price Index. And this is a data point that has been at the fulcrum of nearly every big bad move this year that wasn't directly caused by a Fed big bad meeting. We know some commodities have come down in price, but I bet we get still one more red-hot CPI reading, and it'll cause the market to hit another speed bump. You need to be ready for that. Now, get this. Later on Thursday, the Fed think it finally ends when none other than, yes, Loretta Master gets to talk again. Hey, could you tell me whether things are getting better? Why does this matter? Because if the CPI number's steaming, she's going to one-hour martinize this market all over again. That's a dry cleaner's phrase. I wish we were, I were kidding about this. But I, for one, am completely tired of being obliterated by these left field throws that catch you at home plate. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.